Shalom. Real Hebrews Life's coming that weekend we go. Promise on the downfall of America and society. Starting off, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shem, El Shabbat, Shem, Kakodash, Yahweh, the truly powerful name, who the real enemy calls God, Yahweh, Shabbat, the truly powerful name, who the real enemy calls Jesus, by Shem, is in the name of Kakodash, Holy Spirit. We need to share this prayer holy. We want to get double honors to my elders and apostles of great millstone, rule well, and teach well, and being great as I want to touch on my brothers, and peace of us that are full of echo, we'll part of that number. I'm the brother Kodar from the GMS Brand Chicago. We'll come back with another video. This video is going to be entitled, you know, Jake is so wicked, it makes no sense. All right, because I was just reading Psalms uh, 106 like two days ago. You know, it's basically like a summary. You know, uh, the Lord delivered us, from, delivered us from Egypt, you know. And, uh, you know, all, the, all, the, all the, the the miracles that the Lord was doing, you know, and our people were still rebellious and, and worshiping all the idols, man. You know, and just just pissing the most high off. All right, this shows you why why the two-thirds got to go. This is why the scripture says that uh, two parts must be cut off and die, man. You know, because these niggas are wicked as hell, man. You know, here, here we are, we was created to be, um, like to, you know, like a, a, a image of the most high, you know. We're squared to be uh, righteous, you know, but the scriptures say our deeds surpass the deeds of the wicked, okay? So we, our people are even more wicked than Esau, man. All right. But, um, let me, yeah. okay. Verse 7, uh, Psalms 106 and 7. Our fathers understood not thy wonders in Egypt. They remembered not the multitude of thy mercies, but provoke, provoked him in the Red Sea, even at, at the sea, even at the Red Sea. Nevertheless, he saved them for his name's sake, all right, that he might make, him, make his mighty power to be known. He rebuked the rest, he also, it was dried up. So he led them through the death as through the wilderness, and he saved them from the hand of him that hated him, and redeemed them from the hand of the enemy. And the waters covered their enemies, there was not one of them left. Then believed they his word, they sang his praise. Then soon forgot his works, they waited not for his counsel, man. You know, and, and they, that's, that should have happened, man. You know, because when you tell someone the truth, you know, they 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 quote unquote repent for like one or two days, then go back to their wickedness, man. All right, I seen it. All right, but um, but lusted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted the Most High in the desert. And he gave them their the request, but sent leanness into their soul. They envied Moses also in the camp, and Aaron the saint of Yahweh. The the earth opened up and swallowed the thumb. And covered the company of Abram, and a fire was kindled in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in the Horeb and worshipped it. Molten image, man. Here it is. The Lord just frees you from your captivity. Then you're going to make a golden calf. You're going to threaten Aaron and, and tell him to make a golden calf. You know? And then say, this the, this the, uh, the God that saved me. How? When you just have to make it, man. Shows you how people are wicked as fuck. All right? Thus they changed their glory into the smoke to of the ox that eat of grass. Right. Why worship an ox when you can worship the creator of that ox, man? Alright? Um, our people conscious see what I had on you, man. Um, they forgot the most high their savior, which had done great things in Egypt. Wondrous works in the land of Ham and terrible things by the Red Sea, man. Okay? It says, therefore, he said that he would destroy them had not Moses his chosen stood before him in a breach to turn away his wrath, lest he should destroy them. Yet they despised the pleasant land, they believed not his word, but murmured their tents and hearkened not to the voice of Yahweh. Therefore, he lifted up his hand against them to overthrow them in the wilderness, man. You know, 40 years of the Most High just purging the ass, you know, just, just taking them out. To overthrow their sea also among the nations and to scatter them in the lands. They joined themselves also to Baal Peor and ate the sacrifices of the dead. Thus they did provoke him to anger with their inventions and the plague break in, in them and upon them. Okay? Then stood up Phineas and executed judgment so the plague was stayed. And that one was counted and turned righteous to all generations forevermore. Okay? You know, I could read on down. But, you know, the point, I'm going to give more precepts, man. All right, but our, our people just uh, completely wicked, man. All right, these. Jeremiah 5 and 28, they are waxing fat. They shine, yeah. They overpass the deeds of the wicked. They judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they, they, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy, do they not judge? All right, shall I not visit for these things? Say, if Yahweh shall not my soul be avenged of such a nation as this? 
such a rebellious and stiff-hearted and stiff-necked nation like this, man. All right. Let's go to Judges, the 10th chapter. This is one of my favorite chapters, man. Judges 10 and... And ten and the children of Israel cried until Yahweh was saying, We have sinned against thee both because we have forsaken our power and also served by all them. Then Yahweh said unto the children of Israel, Did I not deliver you from the Egyptians and from the Amorites, from the children of Ammon, and from the Philistines? The Zidonians also and the Amalekites, and the Moanites did oppress you, and you cried to me, and deliver you out of their hand. Yet ye have forsaken me and served other gods, wherefore I will deliver you no more. Man. Hey, it's like your son keep going in and out of prison. You keep buying them out. Hey, it, uh, Hey, uh, it come a certain time we like, hey, just keep the nigga in there, man. Hey, he got to learn. In verse 14, let's, let, let's see what the most I said. It says, go and cry unto the gods which he have chosen, man. Let them deliver you in a time of trouble. All right, and if you equate that to the times right now, hey, let these niggas go cry to Allah, man. Go to these niggas, let these niggas cry to uh, Jesus Christ, man. And whatever the hell they worshiping, man. You're going to fucking die out here, man. All right, and if you read verse 15 and 16, the Lord even delivered them again. And and what they do again, wickedness, man. That's the whole book of Judges. Just, just the it. people of Israel doing wickedness, the Lord delivering them. They repenting. And when the prophet die again, they'll go back to doing wickedness, man. All right, it's the same generation that, that chose a criminal over their own Lord, man. All right. And we know uh, Barabbas was a thief and a murderer. Okay, it says, uh, <clears throat> when he was set down on a judgment seat, his wife said unto him, Have thou nothing to do with that just man? For I have suffered many thing, things this day in a dream because of him. But the chief priests and elders persuaded the multitude that they should ask Barabbas and destroy Yahweh. The governor answered and said unto him, Whether of the twine were ye that I release it to you? They said, Barabbas, man. Okay. And the governor said, uh, What's lucky? Let me, uh, Read down. Okay, it's in verse 25. That's the point. They answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and our, and our children. Then released Barabbas to them. And when he had scourged Yahusha, he delivered him to be, when he had scourged Yahusha, he delivered him to be crucified. Man. You know, I could read, you know, through the whole chapter, but I just want to make it short and to the point. It's the same generation that, you know, uh, rebelled against the Lord and the prophets, even to this day, sold our Lord to. You know, uh, told, uh, uh, chose a criminal over their own Lord, you know, and said, let his blood be upon our children and our children's children, which is why they're getting fucked up to this day, along with the curses, man. But, um, yeah, man, they, two parts got to get cut off and die, man. You know, one, the one third going to be saved. All right, but I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Shema, Shabbat, Shem, Kakudash, Shalom, and the Baba Ball.